Hey everybody, let's start off with a kitty cat alert. Once again, almost everyone in my videos, all he, it's like as soon as I hit record, he knows. And anytime I'm recording, he's just like, I want to be a star. I want to be seen. <laughs> Here you go, Bubba. You can be seen. Uh, welcome to Brandon's Ballistics. Uh, as you can see, we are in the house. We're not on the range, so the day is not going to be a shooty shooty bang bang video. No, instead today is uh, going to be a kitty cat. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it, it, we'll have kitty cats in it, but... As I mentioned on Monday's video, I was going to do a video showing everybody what is in my Wazoo survival belt. Uh, when I did my EDC video, I either didn't have the belt on at the time. I don't remember if I had the belt on. I have to go back and look. Uh, I just threw you know, something on them. Uh, or I just plainly forgot. I don't remember. So, what's in my Wazoo survival belt? Is this a good buy? Because as uh, everybody watched the first video, they saw that... I'm giving away the belt buckle. Doesn't include the uh, uh, the reflector, though. But yeah, the belt buckle itself, I am giving away. Okay, so now, <laughs> now we got it loose. So, this is the little uh, thing that's in the belt buckle. You can kind of see here, it's the SOS, or SOL. It's to be able to do it SOS. You have reflective service, uh, reflective surface on the back you can always do the uh you know you put your finger there you can you know flash uh or would it be now i can't remember no it would be this way to be able to flash so uh, if you're ever stuck out in the middle of nowhere or you're just trying to use my signal you don't have your cell phone or don't have their number you can just flash them and uh yes you can legally flash somebody this way if you want to legally flash somebody get yourself a uh yeah, one of these. <laughs> yeah, after that, you just need direct sunlight. Can't do this in the dark. Let's, I guess maybe if the street light is powerful enough or you have a powerful enough flashlight. But uh, yeah, let's see if I can flash. Yeah, there we go. So uh, that's what they would see. Yeah, you can kind of control your flash by seeing on your finger. You can just go through and aim it. I'm trying to aim, the, aim, aim at the camera lens again. Find it. I'm trying to find the camera lens. I had it and I lost it. There she goes. So yeah, uh, you can pretty easily aim one of these, and that's how you can signal for help. Even with uh, this, is you know, it's just regular overhead lighting. Uh, and of course, you know, you want to remove remove the film before you know signaling for help to make it brighter you know see further away but since i'm just having it in storage you know having it in the belt buckle as you can see it just looks exactly like the belt buckle i'm giving away except you know this is in my personal one yeah back in there where it is you also have the uh bottle opener so there's the first one well, the first two items that i have the bottle opener that i always have on hand and i have the uh you know the rescue flasher so i can flash people to rescue me but now let's actually talk about what's inside the belt because there is a lot of items inside this belt so uh if people didn't know what the wazoo sorrow belt is uh it's a belt that is velcro in the middle and it creates a pocket see man hiccups and you can put a whole lot of stuff in here so my first item, little flashlight for signaling. It's one of those like, little push button ones. It's where I'm never without a flashlight. Next, pull this thing the rest of the way out. Uh, this part is held in there, but here's a little tiny knife. Little razor knife. It's where I always have a blade on me. I just held in by this little rubber you know, O-ring, but of course that rubber O-ring can also be used. Uh, here's a piece of fire tinder. That is waxed uh, fire tinder. Uh, pepper clip, very useful. Uh, one of these I'm gonna do a lock picking video on how to uh, make lock picks out of paper clips. So I can be used for that, be used for a lot of different things. Something that's extremely important, a whistle. I don't know how loud that came out to y'all, but this is extremely loud. Something fell out. What is this? I do not know. But none of those paper clips fell out. I have two, which where I have a turning tool and a uh, 
you know, a pick if I need it. Next. I have a bunch of survival survivor cord. So uh, this whole big old hunk. I also have a ranger band uh, here holding it all together. But if you're wondering what survivor cord is, it's a uh, 750 cord. Uh, so not 550, 750. It has more strands in it. And in those strands, you also have a fire cord, a fishing line, wax jute, and a steel core. Trying to get everything kind of moved so you can kind of see all these different cordage options. So you have fishing line in there, you have wax jute, you know, to be able to tie things down. Of course, you have seven, I think seven strands. I, I, can't, remember, I can't remember how many strands of just regular, you know, uh, regular cordage. You know, each one of them holds 50 pounds. Uh, seven 50 cordage will hold 700, 750 pounds. Uh, so each one of these strands will. You, just, you know, divide that by 50. Uh, yeah, you have uh, the fishing cordage, jute twine, uh, the steel core, and the fire cord. So uh, I'm never without paracord. Even if I don't have it in my pocket, I have it somewhere else. <laughs> Pull that more up through. Uh, here. I have some handcuff shims to be able to uh, shim my way through either either type of handcuff. Not to get myself out of like police handcuffs, and yes, that I mean that would get me out of police handcuffs, but that's you know why put yourself under a charge. You know, that don't make sense to me. And it's more of somebody's trying to kidnap you. Now I realize what this is. That was uh, a striking or a match when it broke. So now it's just tender. <laughs> uh, there's some uh, some an uh, triple antibi antibiotic ointment. Some more matches. Uh, some more uh, tender. Oh, yeah, some more tender. I was trying to keep the relative uh, guess on where these items were. It's where everything will go back about the same place. I have some alcohol pads. There's uh, two of them in there. I have some safety pins. Two of them in here. I have some... Alcohol swabs. I have a bunch of these little uh, night, you know, glow in the dark uh, sticks. So uh, just like any any one of, any the bigger size ones, you just crack, shake, and then you have you know. I mean, yeah, it, it's not a whole whole lot of light, but it's uh, enough to be able to keep you going. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of cool having these. <laughs> uh, some bread ties. And yes, still got more belt. Got even more glow sticks. So let's see, y'all. I have a mini handcuff key. Some band-aids. Some more glow sticks. I have me some galls. Some more uh, burn cream. Some uh, black tape uh, inside of carpet tape. Uh, some more paracord. A ferro rod and striker so I can, well, maybe. There we go. So I can strike.
So I'm trying to keep these uh, kind of in order so I know about where to go back at. Have some aluminum shavings to be able to help make a really hot fire. And I have even more, uh, you know, tape. Because, you know, tape's very important. I have a uh, little carabiner. I think that right there's the whole belt. So, yeah, there's a pretty good bit of items. That you can put in this belt. So, you always have them. <laughs> Uh, you know, I, I wear, you know, I wear this a lot and I kind of forget, I, you know, it's easy to forget I have a belt full of, you know, items. So when you wear it, you're kind of just, uh, wearing like you'd wear any other thing. Of course, uh, when you first got it, you have to, uh, make sure to organize everything to where... That, that, you know, anything that can't bend is not, you know, in an, in, on an uncomfortable place on your body. So that's important to keep in mind. Of course, the flashlight you'd want somewhere more towards the front or the back of your, uh, of your belt. The flashlight is an item that, uh, comes up a lot. That you can really you know, come in useful. Of course, I carry multiple flash. I carry usually two flashlights on me. Not not including the phone. Include my phone, I guess, would be even more. Because it's uh, very common for me to need a flashlight. And of course, I got that really awesome one uh, in that tack pack. Uh, I did have to send it back. Uh, of course, customer service is really, really good. I should have it by tomorrow, back already. So I uh, shipped out Monday, and I, you know, they, shipped, they got it in two days, and as soon as the day they got it, they shipped it back. I shipped a new one, not one back. Not the exact same one back. Ha! Voila! And there we go. There's the Wazoo Survivor Belt. <laughs> uh, they do come in multiple sizes. Um, they come for, you know, smaller sizes for the smaller folk. And for uh, the bigger folk like myself, they come in bigger sizes. And they even come in the bigger size for the even bigger folk. Uh, in a way, it's kind of good to be the bigger size because you get more space to put things. Smaller you are, well, that's less, that's less storage for you. <laughs> so, in a way, it pays to be overweight <laughs> in this situation. But yeah, uh, I just, you know, the belt I've been wearing very, you know, a lot more often. I, for a while, I forgot I had it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like carrying a bunch of stuff on me that I hopefully will never need. But if I have, I do need it. Because there has been, I'm in a hotel, outside a hotel, some uh, some kid whose dad's a cop stole his dad's handcuffs. And uh, I, was work, I was working in a hotel in the uh, engineering department at the time. Uh, they handcuffed their friend's hand to one side of the handcuff, and then the uh, other side of the handcuff was to the elevator railing. And of course, his dad wasn't there. So uh, he, had, he had the handcuff, didn't have the handcuff key. Well, yeah, luckily I had handcuff key. People thought it was weird. Yes, I guess uh, in a way of thinking, it's kind of weird to have a handcuff key. But just goes to show, you never know when you need it. <laughs> I never thought I would. And they were three on, I used it. So it does come in handy. Uh, you know, it's, it's better to need it and not have it and have it. I remember to ha it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. I don't know if I screwed that up or what. But yeah, uh, let's go and go ahead and edit this down, get this uh, up. And yeah, well, oh yeah. Uh, code word. I forgot. Code word is belt. B E L T. Belt. As in, you know, survivor belt. So uh, make sure, if you want to be in that giveaway anyway, make sure to hit the like button. 
make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to share it with your friends and family. And definitely make sure to just hit that subscribe button. Only 5% of y'all, give or take, or subscribe to my channel. You're already watching. You might as well subscribe. And, uh, you know, make sure to hit the bell icon when you're down there. But m most importantly of all, make sure you have yourself a great day. And we'll see you next time. Here at Brandis Ballistics. Bye-bye.